Hello everyone, your boy is back and yes, it's been a very long time and I say that every single time I make a video now. But today, I'm back to showcase to you our new product at Black Bean Grocery which is our texturizing spray. Basically, a sea salt spray. Y'all familiar with it to an extent. And we are also bringing back our texture powder. New look, new design, basically the same formula though. So those of you who have used it and have been emailing me about it, asking me about it, yes, it's the same. Um, just updated design wise in order to fit our new family of products and kind of like what we intend to release in like the, also the near future as well. So that will be available now, but the sea salt spray today is what we're gonna really focus on. For the most part, I imagine some of you are very familiar with sea salt spray and with us here at the pump, like, we released it with all doubts in a collaboration, most by Calanite, years ago, and that was like a very simple step forward. Add more salt, add a little bit of like oil, change the characteristics of it, add a little more weight, make it, make it something more familiar um, to us to style with. But again, to the details of kind of the tweaks and changes we did with this formula, but let's take a look at it. So we placed it into an eight ounce uh, bottle. So similar mentality as uh, the previous collaboration way back then in the pump, like we won't provide you with more than enough. It is a very useful product and we don't want to skip like, like let's just give you what you need. Um, comes in like a very like skinny and tall uh, frosted plastic bottle, uh, dope ass labeling that it should be familiar to a lot of you, ingredients, other information uh, and directions. But the thing I really want to showcase here is, and you can see it very slightly, the oil and water is separated. So in the previous formula with emulsified calanite, like that was fully emulsified, like it was a fully blended mixture and maintained itself for the most part. Now this one, we purposely separated the mixture. What that really does and what that allows for us to do is kind of whatever you use, you're able to kind of control to an extent how much oil you want inside um, like during that time of use allowing you to get a more frizzy or just add enough oil because oil is weight at the end of the day it doesn't really provide any texture and so the mentality here was just to give you more options um, but to use it for my preference like I usually go ahead and just shake it up because like um, it's not a lot of oil, like there's no point having a lot anyways and so I am okay, especially with short hair, like having it blended for the most part. And so, me also with glasses, I spray into my hands and then apply there. I know everyone else is going to spray into the hands, or into the hair, but I have glasses, the last thing I want is salt on my glasses and it's a pain in the ass, but it's like a very small thing, just a funny thing, but anyways. Basically, I go ahead, simply spray to the hand, apply to the hair. Very similar to like a pomade, still want to get an even coating everywhere. Hopefully, like we'll be able to have Harrison review it for those of you who still like style pompadour and show you kind of like the steps that um, he takes with that um, styling process. But this one is pr uh, pretty simple. And what the sea salt does, as we all, for those of you who are not as familiar with it, it adds a little bit of a hold, a little bit of um, grit to your hair, and then allows you to kind of just give movement and have um, texture uh, with your hair. Normally, I would also then style with texturizing powder. They go phenomenally together, um, but just for the purposes of this review, I'll leave it as like a standalone. Nowadays, more in a rush, you can also leave it as so. Um, but I also now <laughs> just blow dry. Primarily, it just speeds up the process, makes it a little easier, and also does actually change the effect. It does give a more uh, of a matte effect to it. And like another reason why I also choose to spray into my hands is just less likely to miss and just is more effective use of the product. But completely up to you, really. Um, probably with like a pompadour, you probably will want to just use like the salt like portion for the most part, and then end or top with like a blended uh, mixture. But give it like um, every day, once you let it to rest, it will separate again, definitely by the time you use it the next day. So completely fine. 
um, light scent exists in the oil and so you just get like a, a light very light aroma kind of herby citrusy notes not sweet but you'll see once you actually use it very much on the light side and in general uh, with like the texturizing powder the sea salt um, spray these are it's not that they're oil free formulations but they are much more dry for the most part and you will feel this in your hair with repeated use Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday like, like you will see like it will leave your hair a lot less um, like moisturized in comparison to like a pomade which has like oil and creams in it like you will feel the difference and so like on your off days you will want to hit it with like something a little either take a break or hit it with something like uh, uh, with like oil in it like a superior pomade uh, clay pomade would even like help out and whatnot. Just something that I've noticed and something I want to be honest with you guys because it is a very clean look and especially with a lot of us just at home nowadays and not going out, it is a lot nicer to just like not have so much goop in your hair. But like by kind of getting this like salty grittiness or with like the powder, like purposely removing the oil, removing the moisture, like you do need to let your hair recuperate to an extent and like that's something I, I've noticed. But Irreplaceable design, uh, not design tools, hair styling tools to add into like a pomade uh, repertoire, but yeah, like with the all like the spirit of like the soap and the towel that we've created, we wanted to kind of provide much more lightweight, something that celebrates like your hair as it naturally is, something that doesn't so much make it make it into something that is impossible impossible naturally but something that is just adds a little bit and accentuates existing like natural features our mentality at least our approach um but yeah so this will now be available uh via our uh, black green grocery i'm also going to think about like what to best kit it with um but also as well texturizing powder um and yes Either way, thank you everyone for um, your support. Like we are an ongoing concern. We continue to develop products, though it takes. It's been absolutely crazy during this whole like pandemic, but hey, we're still alive and we still exist. So we're grateful for all your support and thank you for watching. And um, yeah, hope to continue making stuff for you guys. If we don't, peace.